could add in a background. So you can search for one. We can get a random one here by pressing the star. We can upload one that we wish. Or we can paint one. To start with, I'm going to select one. I'm going to select something nice here called Blue Sky. And you can see that automatically we've made it look more interesting. We can put our cat down here. And we can move. Now, my cat jumps up to the center of the screen, but that's because of the, when I hit the green flag, I've asked the project to go to zero, zero. So maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to bring it to minus 193 and 108. My X position is going to be minus 193. And my Y position is going to be 108. And that means whenever I start the game, my cat is on the ground. It'll walk back and it'll walk forth. If I like this image, that's great, but if I think it can do with maybe some crowds. But if I click on my backdrop here, I can see that the Costumes tab has turned to Backdrop. So I can go here and I could add in a cloud. I could take this to be white. I could draw here a circle. Oh, I don't want that outline. I can turn the outline off. There we are. So I can I could draw another cloud there. And maybe another cloud here. And another cloud here. So you can take existing imagery and you can add you can add elements into it. And so if you wanted to add to your backdrop, you can add in whatever clouds you feel or things you might feel are necessary. Maybe we think that the apples uh, that there should be apples in those bushes. Yeah, it's made up. As I hover over this, I can see that there are images here. here so I could add a circle. I could change that to be, I prefer to be red. I could add in a little circle here. And a circle here. Now they should have different color outlines. So let's change the outline here to be, turn the saturation up, go back down to red. So they look completely red apples. And they're not the prettiest apple, but it means that I can add in elements into my background. And then my game still works as per normal with these are just elements of the background. Let's see what we can do to make it more interesting. First of all, let's add a new backdrop. Let's go to Fantasy and we'll pick this woods here. And you can see now that we have a different backdrop. But what I really want is that when I get to this side of the screen here, I'm going to switch to the woods backdrop. And if I'm in the woods backdrop and I get to the left hand side of the screen, I'm going to then switch back to this nice cheerful one. So it's almost as if they're walking from one screen to the next screen. So let's see how we're going to do that. Let's go to our code and we are going to check when the right arrow is pressed. That's good. Actually, we can just stick with that for this one here. If the right arrow is pressed, and um, we're going to check to see if we need to check our X position and our Y position. Um, so the best way of doing this would be to go to our operators. And we're going to check to see if our X, and we only need to check one of the positions because the Y position for us won't make a difference. It's really only the X position. So if the X position is equal to, well not 50, but let's see what it is. The edge of our screen is 200. So let's change this here to 200. If the X position is equal to 200, um, we want to change our backdrop. So we're gonna switch our backdrop to backdrop woods. Okay, so let's move it here. As I move across. So it didn't work because um, we never get exactly to 200. So rather than using equals here, I'll take that out for a moment. Go back to my operators. I'm going to use greater than. So if it's greater than 200, I'm going to change the backdrop. Try this again. 
going to walk all the way across at the end. Oh, I'm at the woods. But the issue I have now is I'm at the woods, but I'm still on the right hand side of my screen. If I switch the value here, I want to take all of this block here. I also want to do this. I want to move the cart cat all the way down to the back. So watch what happens if I start now. What we also need to do, you notice that I hit the green flag there. And the cat went to the right position, but we did not change back to our nice bright costume. So we now need to go to our looks, switch our backdrop to blue sky. So that's it now. Now, so we start in the nice bright woods. We walk across, the cat's very happy, it's moving across. We get to the edge of the screen and we jump to the next level and we are on the left hand side so we haven't started walking yet and we're moving all the way back here. Okay, so this is a short video on how to use backgrounds and how to switch between backgrounds and how to add your own flair and your own creativity to the backgrounds by using paint. Hopefully this video has been useful.